Okay, so, so far we have this. And notice if you save, you'll have to go back into Edit Topology. That's something new also. Usually you were right in Topology, but now you're, you're a little bit out of it. Now what I'm going to do is produce a tang in the center of this. And to first do that, I need to tilt this a little bit. Click on it. Tilt it back. Scale it in. Okay. I'm also going to turn skin thickness all the way to zero now uh, for doing this next part. Come on, follow along. Go. There we go. And I'm going to keep everything really wide and big because it's really easy to control big. It's really hard to control uh, things that are kind of you know narrow and stuff I can resize it later I'm not really worried about the resizing part so I'll keep it short fat and stubby it's like a Peter Pan sword and then I'll take the deformation tools and change that up so this is what I have now and just to test this out I can add some skin thickness and hit a and it should pan out. Okay. Good, good, good. Now, around in this area, it's sort of having a hard time. So, let's kind of look at that. Maybe I take this point out and just attach it here. That looks a lot better. Okay, now I'm going to try an internal edge loop. I've, I found in the new ZBrush 4, it's kind of hard though. Let's say I go from here to here, here to here. Okay, that worked. Okay. Now let me go to the top and do the same thing. There to there. And that's where it fails, right there. So, don't know why that is. Uh could be that I'm not shifted onto it, but that's a that's a new little insect that's showing up. I'm just going to try an order of operations here to see if it matters if I start from the bottom and then work my way up. Wow. It's like, who beta tests this thing? Anyway, so let's go in here and eliminate that altogether. And then I'll put that loop in via the safer tools located over here. <laughs> okay, so this is what we have. <laughs> And now I would argue that I could make that in about two seconds back in Maya. There's no doubt about it. But it will never teach you how to use the topology tools. And trust me, they get better. Okay, This is just a little odd what we're doing here. And maybe that's what it is. But other than that, it shouldn't explode. It shouldn't implode. It shouldn't do the things it's doing because it didn't do that in the last version with this stuff. All right, so enough complaining. Let's go in and say I'm going to keep these these relatively uh, fat 
because I can skinny them up. And we're going to save this out as a poly mesh. Okay. And then I'm going to save this as sword 2. All right. Now that it's a poly mesh, in the next video, we're going to fix these a little bit using subtools.